Huh? It is time, everybody. The goose is back, doing the card game more content. I haven't opened the Yu-Gi-Oh card in a long time because, well, things have gotten complicated with the game. I'm just not as franchised with it as it used to be. But also, I just uh, people, pe people, Yu-Gi-Oh people have been nasty most of me. Hello, it is the goose. Welcome. I'm going to be unboxing this deck today. What the fuck are you doing here? Go back to your... Go back to your nest. Do it! Oi! Go on! Shoo! Geese, am I right? But yes, we have the new Dark World deck because... It's the only deck that I actually really run anymore, and I like Dark World stuff, it's nostalgic. Uh, I actually traded for basically the entire deck contents of the Dark World structure deck back in the day. The old one. And now there's a new one. Um, it's Return of the Dark. And it has a new uh, rainbow um, and a new um, Grapha, amongst other things. And I wanted to buy it to upgrade my current deck to like be as good as it can be, but also just because trip down memory lane kind of thing. So, it's 10 quid, which isn't terrible. It's about standard for a Yu deck. Reloaded, I think, just means it's a revamp of an existing older version of a deck. And yeah. Um, Force of Darkness are back with new cards that make them fast and strong than ever before. Not they weren't fast or strong to begin with. Well, at least for old time stuff. Now, this brand new structure deck builds on two dozen existing Dark World cards, brand new monsters, gone Dark cards, including the first ever Dark World fusion monster. Oh, it is a fusion! I thought it was a synchro, um, XYZ or something. Um, with this much power at your command, the Dark World army is ready to finish the job. So yeah, Grapha is the new fusion, which is really fucking weird, because Colorless already exists in the anime, except not really, but like, where is Colorless? The one from the anime that was mentioned in GX, like, can we please have that? I like a new Grappa, but we want all of the anime cards first, please. The anime exclusive stuff should kind of be your priority. Why? Anyway, um, yeah, there's like six or seven new cards in here. I figured I'd just buy this rather than buying the singles. Um, and let's get this thing opened up. First of all, we have a new playmat. I'd rather get like a laminated or tape, um, uh, what do you call it? This style of playmat, like the, the felt and stuff, rather than paper. Maybe they've done a felty version, or someone else has done a felty version. Because that is a pretty cool mat, actually. I would like a proper, like, one of those style versions of this. And, yeah. And it does actually say how Dark Worlds work, amongst other things. Um... Do your preface. How dark you just said how the effects work. Um uh, dark room, and, the, and then it says power is boosters and stuff. Giving you information on things. But none of the stuff in the de in the in the news packs, as far as I'm aware, has anything to do with actual dark world stuff. So I kind of don't care. Uh, it also has a card list on this as well, so you can you don't have to keep the box, which is nice because I think previous decks, at least the ones that I bought way back in the day, never actually had the list on the the mat on the back. You only had it in the box. It's like you want to remember your fucking deck list of the original deck. You want to remake make the structure deck for whatever reason you're doing the fucking structure deck to the tournament or something. You can't because it's not it's only on the back of the fucking box. So this is actually kind of useful. And also, I probably keep all this because it's cool looking anyway. I might keep it as a, might use this other side as a poster, maybe, the playmat as a poster. I'll put it on the big poster wall at the back or somewhere, or maybe this wall here. Uh, and there's the deck. Um, I remember these coming like plastic boxes as well, that some decks do, but I'm glad it's, they kind of made it a bit shortened as well. But uh, it actually doesn't come with a rule book, which is interesting. A lot of old, a lot of these treasure decks should co do come with a rule book. Uh, maybe it's because it's a reloaded deck, it's a bit more complicated. 
So they assume that people who are buying a Dark Wolf deck already know how the fucking game works. Or they're just trying to save on paper, being like, yo, you just fucking read it online, you stupid cunt. Um... Oh yeah, so scan here will learn the basics. So I'm guessing the rules are just purely digital mail, which makes sense. So first of all, we have the new Rain Goo retrain. That's the new boy. You have to excuse my shitty cam, but there he is. And uh, he says, "You can special summon this card from your graveyard, returning one level seven or lower Dark Monster Control to the hand." So basically, he has Graphic's first effect, except not quite the same, but functionally the same. Um, which is really good because Ring were able to recycle your smaller ones to re-discard them again to do things is actually really fucking powerful. Because you run out of hand advantage so quickly in Dark Wolves. Um, if this card is discarded to the Grey by card effect, you can add a level 5 or higher Dark Monster Mutant to your hand, except itself. Again, searching, really fucking powerful in Dark Worlds. Like, really fucking powerful. There's a reason why Old Dark World that usually runs snow at 3, and until I started getting snows into my deck, it was shit. Being able to actually search for the cards you need to either get, like, say, gold or silver, if you can only have one in your hand at a time, so you can discard them both and then XYZ summon using them or whatever, actually fucking goated. And it's all just cool that it has a Instead of destroying something like Graffa, it searches some things that's different. It's not quite the same as Graffa. Um, and it doesn't search itself, which is good, because then you just fucking loop it. Then if this card is guard in hand to the an opponent's card effect, you special them at level 4 or lower from your deck or graveyard to either field. Interesting. Interesting. To either field. Mm. <laughs> so you could summon, like, a weak thing in attack position on your opponent's field, and then attack into it and win. Funny! Um, that is actually really fucking funny. Uh, then we have Dark World Puppetry, which is a new spell for the deck. It's a quick play. Dark to three cards of gear and banish them. Then discard a fiend. Okay. Turn your main phase, except to turn this was sent to the graveyard. Met banish this card from the graveyard, and then target when you banish fiends, add it to your hand. You can only activate Dark World Property per turn. So what I'm seeing with this, is you don't actually play this, you discard it. So you can activate it so square rate ability later. Because, granted, I guess you could target three in any, oh, so it's three in any graveyard, so you could always banish from your opponent's stuff. And then you get a discard a fiend, which gets its effect off, because it's part of the effect, not a cost. Right. But alternatively, if you really needed to, you could just discard this and get its effect later. Or come into the graveyard somehow. And we have Dark World Archives, which is a continuous spell. Since shrinks most the previous continuous spelling Dark World um Dark World Grimoire, absolute garbage. Uh turn your main phase. You may dis you can discard a Dark World monster. And if you do, Dark World monster you can you control gain and attack equals level discarding a monster hand in the hand it plus times one hundred till end of the turn. Interesting. Attack boost for Dark Worlds is sorely needed, considering admittedly while three K was good back in the day. Graph up lost the field spell. It's kind of mid now. Um and and also you wanna like you wanna Dark World decks really care about killing your opponent as soon as possible, because the longer a game goes, the more likely they are to run out of gas. I get that's Yu Gi Oh decks in general, especially now, but Dark World was very much one of the pioneers of like We're not in for the long game. We like summon ten monsters and then kill. If we don't do that, we are fucked. Um, and m meanwhile, other decks now can do that and not be fucked in the long game because they have like 12 fucking negates. Anyway, um, yeah. If a monster's original type of speed is discarded from your hand by the effect of a Dark Hole card, or an opponent's card effect, even during the damage step, you can discard one card, then draw two. You can only use each effect of Dark World Dark Cards once per turn. That's the second effect. Also really good, and it even says that even during the damage stuff, so you could do weird damage stuff shit. Uh, which is relevant because of Bra... Bra... Uh, yeah, Bra and Mad King. Because Bra and Mad King deals damage, you get to discard something. So yeah, Dark World Archives is very important in having that part of the effect. I mean, you know, very few people run Bra now anyway, but... Eh, um, yeah. 
So yeah, you get to do more discard stuff, and it also gives you more draw, which is... It draws you plus one, which is better than dealings, which is good. <clears throat> and then there's the fusion. Daddy Graffa, there he is, Daddy Graffa. I wonder if he'll actually be in the new, um, be in Master Duel now, I don't know. I'll have to check that. Because I do run, a pl I do run Dark Hall in Master Duel because Daddy Graffa! Um, so the fusion uses Graffa, obviously, and a Dark Monster. Okay, that's actually really easy to use, since, I mean, admittedly you have to run Graffa, but since it's a named one, you could go, I don't know, uh, King of the Swamps, or, um, the Sheep. Mystical Sheep, or any replacer, um, the Dark... Actually, you could use the Dark Hex Sealed Fusion, if you really wanted to, to bring this out outside of Dark Worlds, if you don't want to. Uh, when your opponent adds a monster effect or a normal spell trap card, while you have a card in your hand, quick effect, you can add the effect, the effect becomes your opponent discards one card. Fucking Pog. A big boy replacement negate, effectively, which doesn't technically negate, so he gets around things that can't be negated. Here's looking at you, Nordic cards. Not that anyone runs those, but you know. Um, it's a and it it's a negate that actually pluses you technically. And it's about time that, that Dark Horse actually got a decent one of these. There's Dark Duel, which means which makes you pay like one thousand five hundred or something, or makes you pay life points and can only really target a certain type of card. Um, and it's also just bad. Um, but yeah, there's a few things like it, but this is actually just an easier way of doing it. Also on a 3,200 body, which I think is the biggest standing attack points of a Dark War monster. Which is ironic, because I think Brain Boo being 3k, this one, um, beat Graffa, and then this comes in immediately after and just goes, Yeah, fuck you, I'm 3200, fucker. Anyway. Um, you can only use this effect once per turn, obviously. If this fusion summon card in its owner's control leaves the field, some opponent's card, you special summon a Graffa, the normal one. That is banished or in your graveyard, then each player in the hand discards a card. So, here is the important reason why banishing your own cards is important. First, um, the field spell banishes stuff anyway. Um, there is a card that allows you to recycle three banished cards into your deck and draw one, and also Trance Archfiend allows you to, when it is destroyed, I think by battle, but still somewhat relevant, allows you to put a banished card into your hand. So there are weird strategies you can do with this that allow you to return, say, a snow or something that is banished to your hand or deck to reuse it again. I don't think there are many decks that actually use the banish zone in this really fucking weird way, at least that I remember. But yeah, very cool. Very cool and good. And also, again, it makes everyone discard a card as well. It also has each player with a hand, which I guess means you and your, your opponent. But that also makes me wonder, like, Multi I really want to see, like, weird Commander Yu-Gi-Oh now. Just com or, I guess, a cross duel? That's why it says, each I mean, I don't know, cause sometimes it says you and your opponent. Well, I guess each player is just shorter, but also just, like, the idea of multiplayer formats is cool. And then there's Dark World Ascension, which I'm assuming is their fusion spell. Uh, during your main phase, fusion summon one fiend-type fusion monster match deck by banishing materials listed on it from your field or graveyard. Um, if, if you're summoning a Dark World monster this way, you can also discard monsters as material. <laughs> discard them as material, you say? Oh, no. Uh, during main phase, scars in your graveyard. You can add this card to your hand, then discard a Dark World monster. You can only use this effect once per turn. So you can just add it back. Okay, in that case, then I'm buying singles. Uh, like, I, I think I might need to purchase a couple more copies of this. Uh, and probably Ascension. Depending on how much they are, I guess it might just be worth buying three of the deck. Uh, and then there is Genta, Genta, Gateman of Dark Quarrel. Uh, you can only special summon hmm, once per turn. You can discard this card to grab your at the gates of Dark Quarrel from your hand. Oh, it's a field spell searcher! Fucking finally! Fucking finally, we have a specific gate. Considering a lot of old decks, like Necker Valley, uh, Zombie World, etc., had specific searchers in their deck of their creature type that do also do other things, it is far too, like, we've waited far too long for Darkholds to have one, them being a very classic archetype. 
Uh, this is Banish, and you control a Dark Oak card, you may special this card. Interesting. So you can special it from Banished. Interesting. So you... That's why it searches Gates, because Gates banishes it, and then it just goes, LOL, I'm back. <laughs> I'm back! <laughs> cool. And he's a level 4, which is relevant. Because the only other good level 4 that special summon itself, previously, was Beige. Beige. Which is relevant, because rank 4 or XYZ are kind of difficult to do in the deck, but you do want the occasional one, although you're better off doing level 5s. But it's nice to have options, is what I'm saying. It's nice to have deck building options, and then there's Parle Hermit, uh, which is a level 1. Granted, I know there's also Gren, um, the other one, but the main one that you also run, which you'll see later, is Cerulli. And if this goes well with Cerulli, then rank 1s are possible. If this card discards the graveyard by card effect, you can target one Dark Old Monster Graveyard except itself, special to either field. Then, if this card discards your hand to your graveyard opponent's card effect, special summon to either field, one of your fiend monsters is banished, or in your hand to graveyard. No need to use special monster. Okay, so may but you could still, if in a pinch, normal summon it and go in at rank one. All I'm saying is the more like options in a deck. To, make, to do weird ultimate versions of a deck, the better. Just for funsies. For kitchen table stuff, right? But also just the idea of special something anyone's on itself is also relevant. Um, it's good. And then a star called Punishment, which is a counter trap, which is a counter trap thing. When a monster would be normal special summon, you can make the summon, you can make, um, negate it, and if you do destroy it, then discard a fiend. And again, then... And if you do, so you're going to do it anyway, so it doesn't rely on you discarding a fiend to be able to do it, even as a not cost, um, which is relevant. And then, if a Dark World monster you control will be destroyed by battle or opponent's card, if you banish the card from the graveyard instead. Good! You can only use each effect once per turn. But still, just good. Uh, and then, of course, Original Rainbow, which gets taken out of the fucking deck immediately, because he's bad. No offense, Rainbow. I get it that you can destroy, you know, you have to destroy all of your opponent's wanted type things when you have an opponent, you, you get destroyed by opponent's card effect. And even with these, I think even with these new effects that allow you to replacement effect your stuff so that your opponent's discarding it, technically, instead of you, I don't think, I still don't think it's worth running Rainbow. I still don't think it's worthwhile. Like, I still don't think it's worthwhile. Personally, I could be wrong. And um, then there's Lucent, which is weird, seeing you not a super rare. Uh, Latinum, which is kind of a rarer one, I think. Latinum is hard to get a hold of. He's not great, but he is a level 6, which is relevant. Um, he gives things attack per point, points permanently. Uh, he heals discard... He, Yeah, so he can special summon himself, but also gives you something else more attack points, which is sometimes relevant. Uh, there's gold, obviously, silver, who wear it without them. Brawn, who, again, that's what I mentioned before, uh, damage step discard. I don't think this deck kind of runs stuff like him anymore, since we have a plethora of other discard effects, which don't rely on dealing damage. You kind of want to get all your discards done immediately, rather than after attacking. Because you're only going to get one or two attack steps in the entire game. Especially now. But especially with Dark World. It's like, you need to do everything in, turn, in the first turn that you have it. Your common needs to go off then, or it's not going off at all. Effectively. Uh, and then there's Brow, which gives you draws. Scar, which it searches, but he's just bad because it has to be destroyed by battle again. The same things before. You're getting one or two combats, no more than that. You need to go off immediately, or you're not going off. Uh, Kaki, who destroys things again. You don't run them. You're going off. It's not going to help you combo. You need to go all in on the combo. Uh, Grand just destroys the trap. You need to go all in on the combo. Or you're not going off at all. Um, instead of running these, you run three Grappa instead because at least Grappa can combo off. Uh, Cerulli, you might run, I do at least run one Cerulli, uh, Cerulli can get you the, the secondary effect, which 
is sometimes relevant in comboing off, but again, uh, Zur, um I get it, it's a legacy deck, so it runs these, but it's a normal monster, you take him out, even though he's cool. Uh, Renge, again, a normal monster, he's a really good normal monster, but you take him out because he's just bad and doesn't combo you off. Uh, the danger stuff isn't new, but I remember the danger stuff being kind of fucking hard to get a hold of before because it's all high rarity stuff. So having the danger stuff for the danger engine really important because the dangers is what made the Dark Wolves to zero for a while. I mean, that and the old Firewall Dragon, but the dangers helped out quite a bit. The Danger Bigfoot, um, he helps you discard shit. Danger Thunderbird, Danger Mothman, uh, Danger Suchinoko, the Snack, Meme Snack. Meme snack is good snack, tiny snack. Uh, also, they get effects when they're not the one discarded, <clears throat> which again makes it like. Hmm. Actually, they might not get effects. Yeah, so either they special on themselves when they are discarded, or they get another effect when they are. So it's like, hmm, do I want them to, the opponent to have that card special summoned, or do I want them to have that effect, and then discard something else. But I, I guess that you'd always pick them in Dark Worlds, right? You'd always need to pick them to be discarded, because, um, they're gonna discard something, you're gonna make them discard something else. They don't get the effect off of them, because not discard the opponent's card effect, but, opponent mini chooses what you discard, but it's still, like, they don't want to give you the effect of a Dark World discard, as well as a Dying Cheer thing, I would be, I would, I would assume. But it's still good that they give you more discard stuff. And it's more special summon things. Oh, your opponent randomly chooses one card in my entire hand. I don't know how that works when you're revealing something where they can just pick that. Uh, then there's Lilith. Um, since normal summon is type 1000. Quick effect, you distribute a dark monster, reveal three normal traps in your deck, when you choose one for your sun field, shuffle the rest back in the deck. Uh, this will be taken out. I get it, it works in the, um, the other dark deck they did, with the, um, the, the older dark deck, with the old, ugh, I can't remember what it's called, but it has lunch, fun, it was, like, dark-oriented, kind of cool, but, since the deck doesn't rely on its traps, you don't run this, uh, Fable Raven, you absolutely do run, Fable Raven is your combo thing, you run three of them, and you are looking to have one in your starting hand, so you play it, discard your entire hand, and then go off. That is how the deck works. It goes Fable Raven, bah, bah, slap hand onto field, do shit, do more shit, then do more shit. Uh, and then Absolute King Blackjack, I don't know why this is in here. Um, you can turn your opponent, turn your banish card, and grab it, export three, 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 uh, Charge the Dark World. I get when this came out and it's like, oh cool, it's a new Dark World card. It's kind of garbage. Um, target one level four level three in your graveyard. Special summon it and it's got a few months. You can activate one of these per turn. It's gateway to Dark World except worse, basically. Um, effectively. Uh, I don't run it personally. I think I might run one copy of it, but I don't run it because my deck is specialized more to level fives. This is just bad. It takes up space in the deck. It just takes up space that could be used on better discard cards. Uh, gateway, you take this out. You don't need it. Because again, this, in this infers that your stuff isn't on the field, which it should be. And the only ones that aren't on the field are the ones that discard to get other effects. And you're banishing them through gates anyway. So you don't need to special summon. Uh, Dark World Lightning, it's alright, it blows up a fate, set face down thing. You don't run it though because it's too inconsistent, because this does fuck all if your opponent doesn't have any face downs. They should, because nowadays people run spell traps and stuff, all those for different reasons, but if your opponent doesn't have that and just have a bunch of face up stuff and a bunch of, bunch of, a bunch of face up things and hand traps and stuff, it's not gonna do fuck all. You can't even activate it. Uh, dragged, you absolutely do run, uh, it gives you information in your opponent's hand, and you get, and if you have one card left in hand, which normally is what you do when you activate this, they ain't choosing shit. You have already made that decision for them. 
but card destruction is just good. Uh, Force of Darkness is alright as a recycler. I feel like now that we have other recyclers, uh, you don't run this, because what you do is you banish them instead, with gates or something, or another effect, and then you recycle them with Pot of Acquisitiveness or something, um, and that's the better way to recycle them, into the deck rather than just into your hand. Uh, Dark Brainwashing, uh, it's a one of, it's really inconsistent to get off, because again, after the end of the, the first turn, your hand should be empty. It should be basically empty. Because you've used it all to combo off. So brainwashing doesn't do a lot. Uh, Dark Smog is fine though, because continual discard. It doesn't during your opponent's turn as well. Again, it doesn't feel too good because it's a long game card, but it's it's fine. It's okay. It's fine. It can help possibly slow down the opponent a little bit, giving you an extra turn. Uh, Mind Crush, this is just bad. The amount of cards in the game now, unless you know the meta inside and out, and you know every fucking card that has ever existed, and you know every problem card in every single deck, this is just bad. Um, and also, just because it's not, and it says in their hand, doesn't say in their deck. If it says in their hand or deck, like certain magic cards have, like, you know, fuck this card in particular cards. If you're making a fuck this card in particular card, it should banish from the everywhere. And all of them. But yeah, mine crush is bad, personally. I get that you can do the otherwise you score on a random card, but again, A, it's at random, and B, it's only one, and it's a trap. I'd rather have a spell that does that, because it's faster. Uh, deck Devastation Mars, again, is fine, but again, I don't play mine as a long game deck. I play mine as a, as you should, as a boom, immediate thing. This is too slow. This is too controlly when, when you're not really running as a control deck, and you can't really run Dark Horse control deck because it's, there's not enough resources to do it control style because you're discarding all of your resources as much as you can. Uh, Paleozo, I don't know why this is in here. Um, oh, discard a card, okay, and then ban it, we'll do that, short the chain. No. Nope, not running it personally. Skill Drain. Eh, I get that because they're all affecting Grave and stuff. Oh, um, or when discarded, you could, I guess, run this. But again, if you're running any kind of extra deck, you don't run this. You don't run this because you have extra deck stuff that goes on the field and gets Skill Drain. I don't get the deal with skill drain, honestly, in modern you I just don't get it. Uh, and then normal Gr daddy grapher, snow, obviously the searcher, and then gates, and uh, Adorak card for dual links, cool, and an Adorak card for master duel, I guess, and then the beginner's guide, and then a thing. I'm guessing I'm supposed to use one of these as a field center, because it did say that... Mm, okay, no. I guess the field center's on the map, right? But it would be nice to have an actual field center for this. But anyway, um, that was the deck. Um, it's it's alright. It, it, the main thing, the deck itself, pretty bad. It's just mid. I get that it's supposed to be mint because it's about to be charged because we get more cards. But most of the stuff in Dark World cards has been out of print for a while. So they could have absolutely have made this way fucking better and not cut into their bottom line with packs at all because of the amount of things that are just really old cards that are just good. And I get they have an aversion to putting three of a card in the deck because they want you to buy three of the deck. And again, it's like a lot of the cards been out for a long fucking time. In various different versions. So once they buy one, they could just, they're probably gonna buy singles of the other easier to get ones that are cheaper and in higher rarity than this. Um, and I get as, I, I, maybe it's a balancing thing for the sake of like other extractor decks and stuff, but again, I, this doesn't feel very powerful, even for a structure deck. 
if you only in the base, if there are sh some strictly worse cards in here than what there should be. But anyway, uh, that was the deck. Um, I'm just happy to have more Dark World support, frankly, because... And I'm happy to have more Dark World art, because I like the aesthetic of the Dark World. It's very gothic. And the lore of the Dark World is that everything looks evil, but isn't evil. Except Bronx is a dick, um, because he's a dick in the anime. But there's things like, um, rumors, for example, you look at, uh, Zer and Renji's flavor decks, uh, the name of this illustrious knight is known by residents of Dark World. He never oppresses the commoners. And then Renish says, This renowned athletic physique made famous the pops of Dark World. Go on the Ren, because no one's afraid of the defenses. It's just, I think the, the point is that they're, like, misunderstood. They're fiends and whatnot, but they're actually kind of nice. They're not, like, evil and whatnot. I don't know. Um, I just like the idea. And I do like the aesthetic of Dark World. I like when the event is on in Duel Links with the, um, the dungeon one, what do they call it? I can't remember the name of it now, but this dungeon one, which usually features the Dark World monsters in it as the, the lures of the dungeon at some point, and it's fucking cool! I just like Dark World, I think they're cool. I guess I have a soft spot for them because the first deck I ever really, well, the second deck I ever really made outside of Crystal Beasts, and I just. I have nostalgia. I have very much bias for them. But even with my bias, I can tell this deck, as it stands, is not good. And there are just some confusing choices in here. Like, there are not that many... There are seven? No, not even, one of them's not even a normal trap, right? Wait. One, two, three. There are exactly, like, four normal trap cards in this. There are four normal traps, four of them, and there is a card that cares about you having three of them in the deck to search something, feels really fucking stupid. If you somehow have gone to the point in the game, you know, you shouldn't have, where you have drawn one or two of them, or two of them specifically, it gets very fucking bad, because you whip. You whip. Because it doesn't say, because it doesn't say up to, it says specifically three, so it whips. I think it's like if the deck was more centralized on normal traps like the deck it was originally in the structure deck which cared about the viruses and stuff which meant it had a more of an emphasis on searching normal trap cards to do things with then it's fine in this where there's only four total and you don't care about them you don't need to search them in dark world because it's a combo deck it's not a control deck why is this here but there's things like that that are just like, what the fuck? Um, Blackjack, why is he here? But, um... Mind Crush, why is it here? It's just bad. It's not the... It's not the gotcha card you think it is. But anyway, moving can I check sec? I'm going to adjust my deck accordingly. I shall see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye!